let me show you this beauty. The temples. such amazing things let's go okay so we just checked in now we're ready for our flight to Wysak yes I have to say like the security lines and the entire process of entering the gates is super smooth there were so many people but I think we just queued for 15 minutes so well done that airport it's my first time in Wysak. I heard lots of good things about it. I know it's one of India's cleanest cities and my dad just told me that it's one of those few cities in India that have a river, mountains uh, and a beach in the sea. So I'm very excited. Let's see. Or let's go to a... we can also go to a corner. Of course I got McDonald's. What did you get? McDonald's? I'm trying to keep him from eating really fatty food but it's impossible I'm basically failing you know that it didn't give me like the cover of, of the coffee because of the banned plastic I'm not used not to have the lid on top of the cup but I'm glad that India banned plastic well done India so for the first time I'm gonna use my summer clothes. <laughs> I'm super excited. It's gonna be actually hot around 30 degrees. Holland and Barrett. I've noticed that there are so many English chains in India. I have so many good memories of Holland and Barrett when I was living in the UK. That is crispy cream. <laughs> oh my god. Cleaner and less polluted than Delhi. Yeah, the air it's is like a breath of fresh air. Exactly. The air is already better. So let's see if we're gonna be able to wet. Crossing in India is challenging. Well, so your dad was right. The hills are there. And then I've seen the seaside, so there are so many natural environments here already. Chilled. I don't see such a hectic vibe also in terms of traffic. 
of course it's India so <laughs> there's a lot of honking happening but looking at people faces I can see they are way more relaxed here and we're going to the Simhachalam temple which is the biggest temple in the, in the town yes super excited let's go We made it to the Simachalam temple, the temple is just behind us as you can see. We were inside and we did the puja, it was a divine experience, it was actually quite different than what I'm used to because I'm used to the more, let's say the North Indian style of temples and this was a very different experience. I felt so grateful because we were given many blessings and we were given gifts, we were given water, we were given this beautiful flower and the monks inside gave us many blessings to both Shrey and I so we felt extremely lucky and grateful the energy inside the temple was super calm and blissful and people were just giving us a lot of advice on how to receive the blessings from the monks so I found that quite sweet because they realized we were not used to this so they were giving us instructions on how to behave because both Shrey and I didn't know really how to welcome the blessings and now we on our way down but we had to stop to take this lovely view in I just wish uh, it wasn't so hazy because the views are so spectacular if it was a clear day would have been a lovely lovely shot so we discovered today that once a year today the naval parade happens in Baizag so we felt quite lucky because we didn't know and we just realized when we first came here and now we got basically one of the best views in the city you know what happens in India everything happens really spontaneously so have a look at yourself Wow, we both feel so lucky that we were able to be in Baizak during this really important day. This is so cool, there are so many people. And as I said, this must be like a moment of pride for the community here. It's extremely engaging. We just saw the chief minister coming through. because I'm on a balcony and there are so many people down there so I think I'm gonna be like the queen in England do you wanna be the king? <laughs> <laughs> 